first round of the Challenge Cup. There are a few more exciting days in the amateur rugby league calendar than this. On this occasion, the Edinburgh Eagles were hoping to steal the headlines when they took on NCL Division 1 side, Normanton Knights. The fans came out in good numbers and dressed appropriately for the cold January day. Others, meanwhile, preferred the traditional attire. Normanton got off to a good start with James Senkiel getting over the try line after just six minutes. Moments later, Joy turned to concern as the Eagles hit back with a great try down the right wing. Knights head coach Paul Seal looked on as his side were once again put under pressure by the visitors. A sharp move down the left was clinically finished off by Nicholas Hamner. With the Knights 4 points to 12 down, the alarm bells were ringing. While Edinburgh continued to convert opportunities into points, Thompson struggled to find their feet. The atmosphere at the graveyard is usually a raucous one, however this time round the locals seemed subdued by Edinburgh's early efforts. Normanton did close the gap to two points after capitalising on a goal line dropout, but soon after the Knights were on their own goal line, trying to keep the visitors out yet again. This only worked for a limited amount of time as the Eagles quickly exploited a gap down the left with Craig Robertson's effort making it 10-16 to the Scots. Moments before the half-time whistle, relief for the home side as Lee Hammond's spectacular diving finish sent both teams into the dressing rooms, level on the score sheet. Norman started the second half the same way they started first as Connor Wilson slid across the whitewash to put the Knights back in front. Just seven minutes later, Connor Taylor gave the hosts more breathing room with a tidy finish down the left. Eagles seemed to tire as the second half went on. What's more, their situation on the scoreboard was looking rather desperate as the Knights took a 34-16 lead. The away fans looked on as their side continued to concede points. In the final effort of the game, the Knights reached their half century as they ensured a 50 points to 16 win, as well as a place in round two. While the final result may have been a disappointing one, Edinburgh left West Yorkshire with their heads held high. Nompton, on the other hand, were left to celebrate the win, but also reflect on what could have been an early exit. Uh, a lot of boys they thought it was going to be a, a lot easier than, uh, than what it was going to be. Uh, however, uh, we take a lot of positives. We uh, gave them a good fright. 16 all half time, it should have been a lot more. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, coming off a lot of union boys in the team, you know, it's hard to come into. Uh, Come into a game of rugby league against a team that's just came off the back of pre season. Uh, yeah, we'll go back up, good reality check, look over it, see where we can improve, uh, and then we go again next year. Uh, and you know, it's, it, it's good for the youngsters to get involved, you know, like there's a lot of youngsters, a lot of under 19s in that squad, a couple of old, he old heads that had experience, but it's given them the good insight of what, what it takes to get that victory. You know? In the end of the round, we've got what we've got. First half, I think we just dropped too many balls. I think we completed nine sets out of 12 sets. In the, sorry, we com completed uh, we dropped the ball nine times out of 12 sets, so completed three sets out as well. So that's pretty disappointing, but I think we showed things up at, at half time and uh, made a few changes to his game plan. And it, it, it uh, paid dividends in the second half. So they were pleased with the result, but not too much the first half performance. But uh, I suppose it's our first day out this year, so we're going to be a little bit rusty. I mean, they were really enthusiastic in the first half, and that goes a long way. You know, the other world they really stuck it to us in, the, in that first half. And I think we ran out of that, I reduced a little bit towards our second half, but we, like I said, we changed things around at half time, and I think it did uh, pay dividends for us.